In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, cause and effect and uh, different relationships between variables. And first of all, uh, a definition of what cause and effect is. A correlation exists between two variables if a change in one variable directly causes a change in the second variable. That's a cause and effect relationship. Okay, you change one thing, it causes something else to change, another variable to change. A, uh, a fairly simple uh, example of a cause and effect relationship is the sale of ice cream versus temperature. Um, it can be pretty easy to see from this that the higher the temperature, the more ice cream is sold. The, the colder the temperature or lower the temperature, the less ice cream that is sold. It's definitely, uh, the, like the line of best fit here, is definitely trending upward, so it's definitely a positive correlation between the two. So uh, as the temperature increases, so does the sale of ice cream and vice versa. So that's an example of a cause and effect relationship. A common cause relationship, uh, a correlation appears to exist between two variables. This is a common cause relationship, but they're actually that a relationship is actually caused by a connection to a third variable. And here's a couple of examples. Uh, the negative correlation between bottled water sales and the sale of winter boots. Okay, so uh, as the uh, sales of bottled water decreases, the sale of winter boots increases and vice versa. Okay, the, the more bottled water that's sold, the less winter boots that are sold. And so this is an example of a common cause relationship. It's linked to a third variable, that being the outside temperature. As the temperature in, temperatures increase, people will drink more water. And then demand for winter boots decreases as people start to buy summer shoes. So that's an example of a common cause relationship, two variables that are linked by connection to a third variable. Another example, in Ontario there's a high correlation between total ice cream sales and the number of swimming accidents. Does this mean that eating ice cream is likely to cause swimming accidents? Well, no. Uh, even though the correlation between two variables is real, okay, they definitely there is a correlation, uh, a more likely explanation is that they have a common cause linked by temperature. They're both related to temperature. A hot day, on hot days, more ice cream would be sold because it's hot, and then so because it's hot, more people swim at the beach or pool, and that gives the opportunity for more swimming accidents because of the fact that more people are near water. So the ice cream isn't causing the swimming accidents, it's the link to temperature that is. Uh, the third page here, a presumed relationship. Sometimes it makes sense that two variables might be related. But it may be very difficult to determine the exact relationship if one uh, even exists at all, or even what the cause might be. So example number three, there's a correlation between fitness levels and the number of action and adventure movies people watch. Uh, it seems that the, uh, the more fit people are, the more action and adventure movies people watch. Well, it might seem logical that people who are physically fit might prefer action adventure movies because they are physically fit. But there is this relationship, if it even exists, would be very difficult or near impossible to prove. Okay, so that's a presumed relationship. Maybe there is a relationship there, but it would be very difficult to actually prove that it exists. A reverse cause relationship. Sometimes the direction of causation is the opposite of what you might think to be true, might have thought to be true. Uh, changes in X seem to result in changes in Y, but maybe it's actually the changes in Y that result in X changing. So this is a reverse cause. So for example, example number four here, in a research experiment, a researcher noticed that people with lower than normal immune system suffer from mental health issues. So the conclusion was that poor immune system causes mental health problems. And in fact, it's just as likely that mental health problems are what result in a poor immune system. Okay, so it, it's the direction of the causation isn't always obvious. You might think that uh, one causes the other when it's actually the, the other way around. A very common example of reverse causation is the chicken and egg question. Did an egg cause a chicken to be born or did a chicken come first and then lay an egg? Okay, which was first? And last uh, but not least on the last page here, we're going to talk about accidental relationships. A relationship that is merely coincidental is an accidental relationship. 
Uh, number five here, a couple of examples. Uh, over the past several decades, the price of gasoline has increased, and so has the number of professional hockey players in North America. So does one variable cause the other? And likely not, actually. Uh, a more likely explanation is that the reason that the price of gasoline has increased is due to inflation. Everything generally goes up over time. And the, the, there are more professional hockey league players, professional hockey players. Um, they The numbers have increased at least partly due to NHL expansion, which, of course, began in 1967. So, you know, that's getting close to 50 years now. Okay, so um, they're there probably is only an accidental relationship that appears to exist between the two variables here. Other accidental relationship examples. Uh, Ed has been doing pretty poorly this season in his races. He's a runner. Uh, then his girlfriend gave him some neon laces for his cleats and he won his next three laces, races. Uh, those laces must be good luck. If he keeps wearing them, he can't help but win. Well, that's probably an accidental relationship. Here's one more. Jane gets a rather large wart on her finger. Based on a story her father told her, she cuts a potato in half, rubs it on the wart, and then buries it under the light of a full moon. Over the next month, her wart shrinks and eventually vanishes, and she writes her father to tell him how right he was about the cure. So that's probably an accidental relationship. Probably over the next month, her wart would have shrunk and gone away anyway, even if she hadn't uh, done this potato cure thing. So that's probably an accidental relationship too. And that's the end of the video.